Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you how we could actually go ahead and get into any random websites if they are vulnerable to SQL injection. And we did that through SQL mapping. So what we did in the previous tutorials were we first found a vulnerable website through Google Doc or uh, via other methods and then we did some initial checks to confirm whether the website is vulnerable to SQL injection or not. Uh, then uh, I provided you some different examples of uh, what the errors would look like and how they would run exactly and I finally taught you SQL mapping to go ahead and gather the username and password. So we have the username but the password won't be the same as we thought. So once you go ahead and gather uh, the website the SQL query re would return uh, one entry and it would be that this is how it would look like on your Kali system that uh, just ignore these specific S over here it's how Kali Linux goes ahead and prints out everything so once it has retrieved uh, this is what it's showing as the password it is analyzing table dump for possible password hashes uh, through SQLW website so we have one entry for the table user info this is the user password but the username is user x as I taught you previously but we are almost there we even got the password but this does not look like the password we can go ahead and extract the password from uh, target columns of table uh, target table of state database through SQL map injection you probably uh, know how we could go ahead and get that uh, rather now because I taught it in the previous tutorial but hang on this password looks funny because this cannot be someone's password especially someone who leaves their website vulnerable just like that they cannot have a strong password like that and trust me guys this is an extremely strong password if you have this so that's exactly right this is a hash password that means the password is encrypted and now we need to go and decrypt it so I have covered on how to decrypt passwords previously or cracking MD5 using the hash cat and other stuff uh, PHB, uh, PHPBB, MySQL and SHA1 passwords with Hashcat on Kali Linux previously. If you have missed that, then you are missing a lot because if you have not seen those previous tutorials of mine, then you probably won't uh, have that much idea as to what I'm talking about now. But if you have seen that, I will cover it, uh, if you have seen or not, I will surely go ahead and cover it out for you. And But you should really learn how to go ahead and use the Hashcat. So uh, cracking the password is not that difficult. The hashed password over here is 24IYBC17XKOE uh, or 0 whatever it is. So how do you know what type of hash is that? That's the first thing. So the first thing that we need to do in cracking the password would be to go ahead and identify the hash type. Luckily Kali Linux provides a nice tool and we can use that tool to identify which type of hash this is. In command line, in the uh, command prompt, uh, that's the terminal for Kali Linux, you can simply go ahead and prompt paste the hash value. So as soon as you go ahead and paste this specific value in the terminal, this will go ahead and show you exactly what it is. This is a DES Unix hash. So cracking this hash is quite difficult, it's quite that difficult only unless it's an extremely big password. So cracking this hash, we can go ahead and use our uh, CUDA hashcat to go ahead and download this, to go ahead and uh, crack this. C-U-D-A-H-A-S-H-C-A-T, CUDA hashcat, that's a tool that we would be using. So first of all, I need to know which code to use for the DES hashes. So let's check that. So in order for us to do that, we need to type CUDA hashcat, that's C-U-D-A-H-A-S-H-C-A-T, hyphen hyphen help and um, I'll just go ahead and type it out to you and I'll show you so the password would be something like I'll just go ahead and increase uh, the perfect so the terminal in we would be typing this in terminal cuda cuda hash cat and hyphen hyphen help and then this specific thing or uh, bar whatever it is called grab des so as soon as you go to hit enter it will be either it will be showing you that it's either 1500 or uh, 3100 but it was a mysql database so it must be 1500 so i'm running a computer that got uh, that has an nvidia graphics card so that means 
I'll be using CUDA Hashcat. On my laptop, I have got an AMD ATI graphics card, so I'll be using the OCL Hashcat on my laptop. If you're on VirtualBox or VMware, neither will work. You must install Kali in either a persistent USB in or in a hard disk to go ahead and actually crack these things. Because uh, a graphic card cracks much faster and in much better way. If you have an AMD, you can use OCL Hashcat. If you have NVIDIA, you can go ahead and use CUDA Hashcat. So I've saved the hash value over here in DS hash file. So the command that I would be running to go ahead and crack our own hash would be CUDA hash cat hyphen m and since it is a 1500 i'll just type 1500 since it is in mysql hyphen a space zero and space slash root slash sql slash des period hash uh, that is the place where our hash would be and space slash root slash sql slash rock u period txt and if you are wondering what Rockio is, that means that you have not seen my previous uh, tutorial uh, in which I have told you that Rockio is uh, specifically designed for Cal Linux rainbow table that, that has n number of or more than even 14 lakh uh, specific passwords uh, or text that can go ahead and help you crack your password. It's a kind of brute force, brute force type of stuff. So the interesting thing over here is that usually hashcat was unable to determine the code for DS hash and it's not in the help menu. However, both CUDA hashcat and OCL hashcat found and cracked the key. So if you have gone through this, uh, if you successfully cracked, uh, then it's good for you. If you have not, then I'll let you know that the password is ABCD at the rate 123. So not ABCD, it's ABC at the ABC123, that is the password. So that's the reason it is such an easy password. So uh, that's 24i YBC that I have taught you. So now we have the password for this user. And that's how we can go ahead and crack specific steps. So the conclusion for this is that there are many other ways to get into a database or obtain other users information. You should be able to go ahead and practice these techniques on your websites that you have permission to and not on any specific thing else. So yeah, that would be it for this tutorial and um, that would be the end of SQL injection technique or how we could go in SQL map. But there are many other SQL tools that are still available in Kali Linux that could go ahead and help you inject uh, different kinds of queries into the database to not only uh, get uh, the user access. Let's say for example, you got this user access username and password, you went into the database and you gathered all the information that you wanted and you came back out. So the question over here is that if there is, uh, uh, if you're actually doing this uh, for some reason, and if there is a forensic investigator, uh, that's a CHFI, Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator, he will be easily able to find that you used, whose ID you used and what information were there. But if you go ahead and use these SQL queries in proper, you won't even have to use any specific username. You can simply go ahead, get into the database, and get out without even anyone identifying you who you were exactly and they won't even have an impression left behind to go ahead and uh, think that if uh, whether anyone was actually there into the system because they would not even have any specific person gathering all the databases especially if you are, have accessed uh, it through a user then it would surely be showing that this user has access to this database but if there is no user then whom will they track that is the question so that's it for this tutorial, uh, gather uh, much information as you can about the SQL map and SQL hash queries that you could go ahead from Cal Linux. Cal Linux is a very awesome operating system that could do much more things than just these tutorials of mine. So that's it for this tutorial, have a nice day ahead.